What's up, YouTube? Banger Jackal up here. I got a uh, story to tell you about a mouse. So there was uh, a particular mouse was causing some problems in my uh, my office not too long ago and caused a whole lot of problems for me as far as my machine uh, going bad and this, that, and everything else. Uh, you know, just a series of unfortunate events. But out of all of that, um, there was one particular mouse, and this mouse was a ninja mouse. Um, it kept tripping the traps and then eating the stuff inside. It was a very smart mouse. Um, but its luck ran out one day and it slammed it on the side of the head and it popped its eye forward. And, uh, you know, I thought, yeah, this mouse is done. This mouse is dust. And I had a little knife and I had the mouse in my hand and I was going to go ahead and dispatch it pretty quick. And it seemed like every time I brought the knife up, the mouse would wig out. Like it knew my intent. And I'd put the knife down and it would calm down and it would chill. And I thought, wow, that's really interesting. This mouse knows that I'm going to kill it. And so I thought, you know what? Put it in a little jar, see if it survives. If it survives the night, I don't know, maybe we'll keep it as a pet. You know, uh, something that survives a dome shot like that deserves a second shot, right? If it's, if it's strong enough to survive. Well, a little bit later on um, that same night, I went to kind of move it to a bigger container and it jumped out and it ran into a bunch of shoes that we had over in our shoe closet. And so we went through, looking through every single shoe and we couldn't find it. And then finally I went back to one shoe, I was putting it away and I looked inside and it was like doing one of these, these uh, Mission Impossible type things. It was just holding on to the shoe, even though I would shake it like this, it was holding in there. So I, I saw it. So we got it out and uh, recaptured it again. And then uh, a little bit later, um, as I was in the, the bathroom with it, you know, moving it again to a different container because we kept trying to find an appropriate container for it. Uh, it jumped out, was running around in the bathroom, so we caught it again. And then I had it in a really good container and thought, okay, cool. So the next day, I went to start putting some stuff inside the container because it survived. Uh, and as I put stuff in the container, it jumped out. I mean, it jumped. Here's the container. It jumped out and thing. And my son just shook his head as he looked at me and he was like, you're a dumbass. And the mouse got away. And so we're like, oh, well, you know, the trap will get the mouse at some point. There it is. Well, a month later, um, I saw a mouse upstairs. And, uh, you know, mouse went from downstairs area of the house to the upstairs because we had the bo bottom area just so trapped. They must have realized it was just a death zone. So they, they went upstairs. So anyway, uh, the next morning after I realized that we had... Uh, mice in the upstairs area my eldest daughter angel says dad i caught a mouse last night and i said what do you mean she goes i felt it kind of walking across the foot of the bed and boom i caught it and i'm like ninja skills and i'm like awesome and i look and this mouse had a busted eyes just kind of hanging out i'm like oh we recaught the mouse so we put it in a little container and um it's been in that container ever since and I've been changing its bedding and doing this, that, and everything else. And got to the point now where I can feed it. And the mouse's name is Mishka. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it went from being just a nuisance around the house to being a pet. And the main reason I did that is, as I mentioned earlier, it was not only hardy enough to take a dome shot to the head, and it was smart enough before to, to trip the traps and, and get away. But I think it deserved a second chance after all of the shit it went through. And so anyway, now we've got these little tricks that I do with it. And you know, here's a little video of it. Mishka. 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 You're missing, Mishka. There you go. It's easy. It's 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 a cool little mouse, you know. Was, and now the eye fell out as time as it's healed and stuff. And uh, so now whenever I get kind of stressed out throughout the day uh, with the things that come my way, I just kind of look at that mouse and go, 
you know, I don't care how bad my day is. I ain't never been dome shotted like that fucking mouse did. And uh, I think the mouse deserves a second chance. Anyway, uh, the rest of the mice in the house, you know, if they hit the trap and they die, that's it, you know. But uh, that particular mouse right there um, deserves um, to live out the remainder of its day eating dog food and having a grand old time. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That's it for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe to all your friends. Until next time, please be good to each other.